Rural and Plateau in your neck of the woods right at 620. Stefano? And, and the big thing that with the, the storms, Dan, really is going to be that they certainly have that potential for a brief spin-up tornado, but we've already had plenty of reports coming in over the last couple of hours of just regular damaging wind gusts, winds of 50 to 60 miles per hour, and what we can really see with some of these storms is just that torrential heavier rainfall that's been coming down. So let me show you some of the rainfall rates within some of these storms. Now, I want you to keep in mind that these storms are, in fact, moving, so they're not stationary, and they're moving very quickly. You know, 50, 60, some storms have even been moving up to 70 miles per hour. Your latest little radar update there. You can see some returns coming in six inches an hour, seven inches an hour. Now, because these storms are not sitting directly over top of us, we are not seeing six to seven inches of rain. That's not what's happening. But what we are still seeing at this point is just the fact that these storms have a lot of heavier rainfall because it's nighttime. The sun is down. It's going to be really tough if you're trying to drive anywhere with this heavy, just sort of blinding rainfall in the middle of the night. So that's one of the main concerns with this as well, as well as the potential for that spin up tornado. Again, it's a radar indicated tornado warning. Does not mean one has been confirmed on the ground at this point. We will obviously update you if that does become the case. But for now, this tornado warning is in effect for Moore and Franklin counties until six o'clock this evening. I think now the threat has moved much more into Franklin County. We still obviously have that very heavy rainfall that's back into parts of Moore County and still actually some lingering rain in parts of Lincoln County as well. I want to go back and try to get an idea as to where this rotation is and we're still really tracking Dan at this point two areas of rotation within this cell and, and right now it's sort of just finding out uh, which one of these is, is the the, the tightest little couplet, the tightest rotation where this storm is spinning and, and could possibly be dropping a tornado. So again, those returns, they're going toward the radar, green, away from the radar for the red, and that sort of is what's telling us that this storm has a lot of muscle behind it. It's tightening its rotation. That's why that tornado warning was in fact issued. That's right, and so you can see it, it sticks out like a sore thumb right here in this area. We've got one here, one here, but the contrast is very obvious. So that's why we're focused around Estill Springs in the in the main heart of uh, Franklin County right now. If you were in Moore County and you were hunkered down, you can come out of your safe spot. So that storm, as Stefano just mentioned, is out of your area and so that threat for rotation is east of you now so more county will give you the all clear even though it's still officially a tornado warning back in your area the storm is gone so you don't have to worry about that so more county you're in good shape look at this i don't know if that's tightening up but what's the what's the rotation together is that about uh, 80 80 miles an Let hour me see i'll put it up right here 30. so we're looking at 37 and you add the other number um you take the positive of both so we're about 57 miles an hour collectively right around estill springs essentially uh looks like um okay so the national weather service down in huntsville who issued this um, has decided to uh, cancel the rest of that tornado warning for franklin and more counties and they're actually uh, canceling a severe thunderstorm warning for franklin lincoln and more so the same cell that triggered uh, both warnings in different parts of the storm at different times um, looks like these polygons the yellow and the uh, and the red will drop off so but we're going to just um I don't know if we can go to commercial break or should we just can continue here for a couple minutes and hang until News 4 at 6. Uh, the folks in the back are busy preparing News 4 at 6. Uh, we could, we, why don't we go to commercial break and we'll get things together and we'll be back in about two minutes with News 4 at 6. Stay with us. <laughs> I feel like I'm dreaming. <laughs> and after special days we missed... <laughs> This mom finally hugging her daughter after nearly 15 months. Let's go! The family traditions we thought we'd lost. Whoa! But were always in our hearts. I came through a rough bout with uh, COVID, and I'm able to be here with all of you today, and it means the world to me. One Texas family reuniting with a loved one who'd been abroad since COVID kept them apart. You never think that your family is going to be separated for two years. It's been a hard two years. And then there were these surprises. The emotional moment a U.S. Air Force Master Sergeant returned from a months long deployment. As soon as I saw him, I my eyes were flooding. There's tears of joy. I just felt so good having him back. Military families reuniting meant so much more. 
This dad, just back from Kuwait, disguised as a referee, also surprising his son on the football field. Connections that reminded us, during the most difficult times, nothing is more important than our loved ones. If there is one thing we've all gained during this pandemic, it is perspective on what really matters. That is NBC Nightly News on this Saturday. I'll be back with you here tomorrow. I'm Kate Snow. For all of us at NBC News, stay safe. Have a happy new year. Do you remember where we were five years ago? Look at us now. This is us, the final chapter, Tuesday on NBC. At Hardee's, there's so many tongue-teasing, wallet-pleasing ways to enjoy our new $5 meal deals. Whether it's hand-breaded chicken tenders or the big cheeseburger with fries and a drink. Woo! Go ahead and treat yourself to the new $5 meal deals at Hardee's. Feed your happy. Here's to something new in 2022. Check out the new Rooms to Go app, the easiest way to shop the New Year's sale. Browse this huge selection. When you see your favorite, save it. Then save on it with great sale prices and interest-free financing for five years. Plus, you can find bonus savings coupons right in the app to save you even more. Rooms to Go is making shopping, buying, and getting your new furniture home even easier. Get the new app today and shop the New Year's sale. Don't cheat yourself, treat yourself. Whether it's the original hot ham and cheese, three-piece hand-breaded chicken tenders, or the big cheeseburger with fries and a drink, choose your flavor with the $5 meal deals at Hardee's and feed your happy. News for Nashville starts now with this forewarned weather alert. We just kept calling on God. It's always all we knew how to do. And tonight, Kentucky once again under a state of emergency due to the weather. Damage is reported in several areas, and our crews are there on the ground getting a first-hand look at it all. First, we want to start in Hopkinsville, Kentucky, where a possible tornado damaged several homes and businesses there. News Force Danielle Jackson joins us live from there tonight. Danielle, what are you seeing? Marius, I can tell you the brunt of the damage is here in downtown Hopkinsville, Kentucky. But I want to take your attention to this large piece of metal that lies right here on the sidewalk near East 9th Street. Now, we're in the downtown area, and I also want to take your attention just further yards away where you can actively see power crews working this afternoon, trying to restore power in this area. Take your attention to the video we shot when we first arrived here earlier this afternoon. You can see there's mangled parts from the gas station that was destroyed during the storm. Now, several of the pieces flew over into this park directly across the street. Other businesses were heavily damaged like this family dollar store. The storefront was blown out and inside of the store majority of the merchandise lied under the rubble. I talked with one man who lives right down the road and he talked to someone who was pop pumping gas just moments before those strong winds came through. The marathon it tore the roof off the gas pump. There's a guy pumping gas right there. He said because I talked to him and he said he had to get his wife because he seen it coming and get her over there on the concrete by AutoZone and they laid down. Lucky he was safe. He, he picked the right spot, AutoZone, so. <laughs> now, earlier we spoke with the EMA director for Christian County who told me they are still assessing the damage in this area. They also said the good news with all of this, there are no fatalities, no reports of missing people or no injuries right now in Christian County. As we'll definitely keep you updated on the latest online and back to you, Marius. Everyone's safe there, Danielle. Thank you so much. Parts of Bowling Green have been hit once again. Just three weeks after tornadoes ripped through the community, businesses and apartments have been damaged in this morning's storm. Brittany Weiner is live in Cave Mill Road on Bowling Green, where there's now a massive hole in a furniture store. Brittany. There is, Marius. Yeah, you can actually see it covered up behind me. So this is Thornton Furniture here. This building has been standing, and this furniture store has been here for 25 years. 
Now, half of the wall has been taken down. You can actually see this large pile of cinder blocks, which used to be that wall that was standing there. Now, we spoke with the owner earlier today who said he and his employees, they were inside the building when this storm came through. They got that tornado warning on their phones, and that's when they locked the front door so no customers would come in, and they got to an internal closet of safe space there. As they then heard the roaring storm go by, they felt the building rumble, and then they came out to find this the wall taken down but they said once they came outside to see this already people were gathering people to look and also to help it, it was hard for me to understand what was happening uh and didn't realize that that what had happened happened uh but then i got all kinds of people that came by friends uh construction people offering to help offering to pick concrete blocks up get them out of the way and and, and we've got crews on the scene trying to make a cleanup and us get back open as soon as we can get our power back on. And this community has really been coming together for about three weeks now since that deadly tornado tore through this neighborhood or this entire community, I should say, in early December. In fact, the owner was telling me a short time before the damage happened to their building, they had a family that came in that they were helping them with furniture, mattresses, this different things to get them back on their feet as they had been impacted by that deadly tornado in early December. So he said he's looking forward to getting back open. They have the power on, should hopefully be opening again soon to get back to helping those communities or those families who have been impacted and need to get those furniture and things so they can get back to some type of normalcy. All doing this, Marius, while they're trying to rebuild themselves now. They yeah, can't catch a break. Brittany, thank you so much. We want to show you this yeah. new video from the storms. This is in Pike County, Kentucky. This is the southeast portion of the state. Look at all that flooding there. I can't believe a car is actually driving in that. Now, there are quite a bit of power outages in our northern counties and right there in Kentucky. In the last hour, they've actually gone down significantly. Always remember, power crews do everything they can to get the power back on. Now, we're going to check back with this throughout the night and let you know if it improves. Now, closer to Middle Tennessee, tornado warnings went on for a while, and we're only seeing a little bit of damage here. Carly Gordon is at the alert desk with more. Carly. Yeah, Marius, the good news is we aren't seeing any major damage, but we are seeing minor damage in Robertson County, and we want to show you that right now. These are some new pictures into our newsroom. They're coming from our partners, Smoky Barn News. This damage is along Winters and Burgess Gower Roads. You can see it's on the roof there. Fortunately, no injuries reported here either. If we hear or see more, we will, of course, let you know. And by the way, if you have damage and you're safely able to snap a picture, be sure to send it to news at WSMB.com. Marius. Carly, thank you so much. Nashville was spared for the most part, but there were some areas with minor problems. Carice Jackman continues our severe weather coverage from Davidson County. Here in the metro area, we did fare pretty well when it came to severe weather, thankfully. Now, we did get some reports of trees down in some parts of the metro area, like this one right here. You can see a partial tree down here off of Clarksville Pike near Jolton here. A metro police officer making sure that people were not running into that tree. Other than that, and some tree limbs, thankfully, we're seeing a lot of people safe tonight. Not a lot of reports of any serious damage here in the metro area, especially when it comes to such an unseasonably warm winter. I'm Carice Jackman, News 4 Nashville. At one point today, just a little over 1,000 people were without power in Davidson County. It's been going up and down for a while, but now it's just a little over 150. We're going to keep checking in with this as the night goes on and let you know if we hear from NES. And like we've said, the big threats are over for now, but storms are still possible. Our team of meteorologists has tracked this every step of the way. Dan, we're going to start with you. What are things are looking like right now? Well, things are looking still very wet outdoors right now. We still have some pockets of moderate to heavy rain and that's even around the Nashville area. But the severe weather potential has shifted to southeastern parts of the mid-state. So Nashville, you're in the clear. No more severe weather in Murfreesboro, Columbia, and back toward Clarksville as well. Let's go for a closer look. There are several severe thunderstorm warnings, no tornado warnings right now. These yellow polygons indicate that. So Lincoln, Moore, and Franklin counties until 645 or so. And then up the line, several more warnings, including Altamont, south of Manchester until 615, that one there. And then into Cumberland County, 
County. This one gets Crossville and back towards Sparta in White County until 630. There could be damaging wind gusts. There could be lightning and thunder. There will be very heavy rain and there could be some pea sized hail, but more likely uh, we're not going to see that. But you can see the storm track. It's going to take this toward Pikeville around 630 or so. Northern Alabama. We have to watch this and through here that could move back toward Franklin County as well. North of there up toward Nashville, some showers, but notice more is going to move in later on. And then the big picture shows we have a lot of rain to watch out for. Some spots have gotten nearly half foot of rain. Please be careful driving around tonight and watch for some areas of high water. Stefano. And yeah, it's not going to really take all that much to eventually cause some more flooding in some areas. Now, here is some good news. The tornado watch has actually been shrunken down. It's actually been allowed to expire for parts of southern middle Tennessee. The main area for that tornado watch right now is in the far eastern Cumberland Plateau, the southeastern portions of middle Tennessee. All those areas we've been talking about where we're still seeing and Dan was just showing that severe weather continuing. We also have a flood watch. That's for the southern portions of Kentucky, the northern portions of middle Tennessee, including Nashville. And again, the main reason for that is simply because any additional heavier rainfall could cause something as simple as water ponding on the roadway. So if you are out and about tonight, when more rounds of rain come through, take it easy, take it slow, and never try to drive through a flooded roadway. Nashville 58, Brentwood 57, Dixon 58, Clarksville coming in at 58 as well. We're going to talk about these temperatures. That'll be the big story over the next couple of days, Marius, because they drop. And then we even have some snow to talk about for the mid-state. Mm, it's going to get cold out there. Stefano, thank you so much. Well, on days like today, it's crucial to have the free News 4 app downloaded to your phone right as tornado warnings go off. We're going to send you an alert when it happens. To find the app, just search WSMV in your app store. Still ahead, another day and again, thousands of flights canceled. How the Omicron variant is giving us a bad start to the new year. five years ago. Look at us now. This is Us, the final chapter, Tuesday on NBC. The ice is a blank canvas waiting for you to make your mark. This is our stage. This is where we get to perform. We are competitors through and through, and it's our soul out there on the ice. Those times when it feels right, that's the moment that we've been training for. Wherever your journey takes you this winter, get away with our best deals of the season. Right now, get huge savings on the entire lineup of award-winning Hyundai vehicles at the Hyundai Getaway Sales Event. With new cars arriving just in time for the holidays, it's the perfect time to get a Hyundai. Get 0% APR plus zero payments for 90 days on a new Elantra or Sonata or up to 1,000 cash back. Visit buyhyundai.com today. Hobbies, two for six bucks every day. Two beefs, two cheddars, together. Two of those things for just six bucks. Arby's, we have the meat. You can make a lot of things with the dollar. At the Tennessee Education Lottery, we think they make a difference. That's why we're proud to have raised more than $6 billion for education. The Tennessee Education Lottery. Game-changing, life-changing fun. At News 4 Nashville, we know it's not about us. It's about you. Your concerns. I lost my job, so this gas helps out a lot, and I appreciate that. Your safety. Glass all the way down to Broadway and beyond. Your rights. Is there a protection in place to make sure that they won't be ostracized once they come forward? We're listening to you, connecting you to the stories you say matter. Every story we cover, every answer we track down is for you. You are News 4 Nashville. It's time to get your day started with News 4 Today. Holly, Cody, Lindsay, and Brittany are live every morning with new headlines from overnight. Our crew is breaking new information. Join News 4 Today, working for you every morning, starting at 4 a.m. You're watching News 4 Nashville at 6. It's a rough start to the new year with unprecedented COVID case numbers and more canceled flights. Mandy Gaither reports on the trends and the disruptions the Omicron variant has brought to us. A new year, yeah, yeah. continued concern, record numbers of COVID-19 cases in the U.S. Omicron is truly everywhere. 
disrupting a normalcy Americans were hoping to see in 2022. What I am so worried about over the next month or so is that our economy is going to shut down, not because of policies from the federal government or from the state governments, but rather because so many of us are ill. U.S. airlines already affected. Sick crews, winter storms have led to more than 2,300 more flights being canceled today, bringing the total to more than 13,000 cancellations since Christmas Eve. We should anticipate huge delays and disruptions in that, all transportation hubs. Healthcare services exhausted after several surges of the virus stretched thin again by a growing number of COVID-19 patients. Some states calling in the National Guard for help. We're managing, but we're getting sick. And it's a, it's a staffing issue for our hospitals right now, particularly our emergency departments. As students IO returned to school, unprecedented numbers of children with COVID being admitted to the hospital. Healthcare experts say the vast majority unvaccinated. Whether adults or children, we're not seeing the same level of severity. But if you're unvaccinated, that's the group still at highest risk. I'm Mandy Gaither reporting. And we've been tracking out storms all day across the mid-state, but our focus is going to shift in the coming days to a cold shot of Arctic air. When we come back in a couple of minutes, we'll talk about how cold it gets and when we can see even a little snow here in the mid-state. Forewarned real-time radar brought to you by FreelandAuto.com. I had a severe foot injury. I was sideswiped by a car. I was involved in a serious car wreck. My lawyer referred me to the Higgins firm. That's why I chose the Higgins firm. People who know. People who know. People who know, know the Higgins firm. Say hello to 2022 with Xfinity, and you'll get fast and reliable internet for only $20 a month for 12 months. Plus, you can get 12 times the speed for the same price when you add Xfinity Mobile. You'll save hundreds over AT&T. Say hello to kicking off the year with this amazing offer. And with Xfinity Mobile, you can get a 5G phone on us and $300 back during our Xfinity Hello 2022 sales event. Click, call, or visit a store today. At Metro by T-Mobile, we know you deserve more for the holidays. So we're giving you more with the big 5G upgrade. More choices with the largest selection of free 5G phones like the Samsung Galaxy 5G. And more savings on one line of unlimited smartphone data for just 25 bucks a month with 5G included at no extra cost. All with the power of the T-Mobile 5G network. So whether you're sharing and connecting or feasting with friends, get more for the holidays with your choice of a free 5G phone. Only at Metro. Many times when people are injured at a place of business, they don't realize they may have a case. The fact is injuries should not happen. And most of the time when someone is injured, someone is at fault. Maybe the store manager installed a cheap, slippery floor, or there wasn't proper security. After an injury at a hotel, restaurant, store, or any place of business, it's so important to call us. Time matters, size matters. Morgan & Morgan, for the people. Com. This winter, your forewarned weather team will make sure your plans are weatherproof. Because when it pours in Davidson County and roads get slippery in Rutherford, your forewarned weather team has you covered. Stay ready with the certified most accurate forewarned weather team. This is a forewarned weather alert. Well, all day we have been tracking storms that did leave behind quite a bit of damage. Our team of meteorologists just got finished tracking another system. Dan, I got to ask you, are we out of the woods yet? We are not quite out of the woods. I think in the next couple of hours we will be. But as we look at forewarned real-time radar, still some polygons showing up. And these yellow polygons, these little yellow shapes, indicate severe thunderstorm warnings. And so we could have some wind gusts still to 60, 65, maybe 70 miles an hour with some of these heavy downpours moving in. Until 645, this severe thunderstorm storm warning remains in effect for Lincoln, Moore, and western Franklin counties because of that cell right in through there. And then this one around Altamont until 7 o'clock tonight. And then notice farther north of there, we have an additional warning, and that's in effect until 630. And that gets Spencer, parts of White County, and over toward Crossville as well. No more severe weather in Nashville. No chance of that. There's been plenty of damaging weather nearby today. Take a look at this. So some wind damage that showed up earlier today around Goodlettsville. Trees blown down near Moss Trail and Garrett Drive in Davidson County. Then up in Hopkinsville, a suspected tornado 
building damage at Western Southern Hills a golf course there in Christian County. So we're watching rain showers move back into Nashville. We've got a little low right now, but more areas of rain move in in time. And then notice more thunderstorms we're tracking in northern Mississippi, and those could in time get into southern middle Tennessee. There's also a cold side of this and a lot of snow and Stefano is going to show you the temperatures in just a moment. But in the meantime, the tornado watch continues this until seven o'clock tonight for the Cumberland Plateau. This could be extended for parts of the mid state. We'll be tracking that through the evening time. Flood watch in effect until nine o'clock tonight for north central middle Tennessee and just a couple of counties in that wind advisory until nine. Stefano. And Dan, yeah, the big story behind all of this is going to be that big Arctic chill, really our first one of the season so far. We've had a couple of cool downs here and there, but the big thing is going to be that Arctic blast that's coming our way. So some storms are going to linger into this evening, turning colder on our Sunday, and then we actually have some snow to talk about for some parts of the mid state. Let's get a check on those temperatures in the 50s and now we're starting to see some 50s in areas like Crossville, McMinnville, Tullahoma. That's all rain cool, but the good news with that is that it's at least telling us the atmosphere is sorting to stabilize once again. So that's going to help things out as more rain showers try to move in later on. Nashville 58, Clarksville 58, Hopkinsville right at 57. Let me take it out for the bigger picture because look at that Arctic blast that's off to our north and west. You can see areas like Nashville, Memphis, even Little Rock still sitting in the 50s, but a little farther to the north and west makes a big difference. St. Louis at 36, Kansas City a whopping 10 degrees right now. So I'm going to get that cold here but maybe close in some areas. Let's take a look at Futurecast, though. I want to walk you through the remainder of this evening. Scattered showers and storms will continue. I think one of our main threats for the good majority of us will continue to be heavier rainfall, but still that severe threat really east of I-65 in the Cumberland Plateau. The rain does taper off through the remainder of the overnight. Tomorrow morning, we wake up right around the 40s and 50s. Then after that, the temperature actually falls the rest of our day, and look what tries to move in. A little rain, maybe a snow shower as well. Temperatures continue to fall even into the 30s in some spots. Now, if you're hoping for some accumulation as far as the snowfall is concerned, it's not really going to cause us any problems. It's not going to make us turn any heads. What we are going to see, though, Dan, is, you know, maybe some grassy areas. You leave the car outside overnight. You might need to dust it off in the morning, but that's pretty much it for us. And that'd be amazing because of all that warmth we had in December, now January 1st, 78 was the high today. So temperatures crash in Nashville tonight. The front gets into Nashville probably 3 or 4 in the morning. Falling temperatures, as Stefano mentioned, tomorrow. Notice the rain snow mixed tomorrow afternoon. In some communities, not everybody's going to see that. And notice a pretty strong northwest wind 5 to 15 miles an hour and in Monday's high temperatures back to school for some kids back to work for many of you only in the upper 30s in lower most 40. So this is our first true blast of Arctic air for the season since last winter. It's not going to hang around very long. Notice Monday mostly sunny 40 degrees 23 Tuesday morning 51. So moderating in the afternoon increasing clouds Wednesday 53 colder air seeps in Wednesday night and Thursday. This is an even stronger blast of Arctic air. Rain and snow showers around on Thursday. Notice Friday morning in the teens. Friday afternoon barely to freezing and then back to 20 come Saturday morning. Stay with us. We're back right after this. New year, a new look for your home. At the BF Myers New Year's sale. With huge savings throughout our entire 60,000 square foot showroom. Plus get 60 months free financing and free delivery. It's the BF Myers Furniture New Year's sale. Going on now. This may be hard to believe, but many hardworking Americans just like you could be paying even more taxes in retirement, including being taxed on your IRA, 401k, and any other deferred retirement accounts. With the threat of potential taxes increasing, your nest egg could be in trouble unless you take advantage of defensive tax saving strategies now. Now's the time to defend your hard earned savings. Call for your free customized tax savings analysis. Weekday mornings, you have places to be, and I'll get you there fast. If I were you, I would skip the interstate completely. You can hop on the Murfreesboro Pike, connecting you to the quickest routes and helping you avoid delays, plus a live look at road condition so you'll know exactly what to expect when you leave the house. These detours will take you around the backup, and then once you get past that, smooth sailing into town. Connecting you to what matters most. News 4 today, weekdays from 4 to 7, working for you. Fired up, fueled up, 
ready to roll. When it's severe enough for storm mode, turn to your forewarned weather team and the power of News 4 Nashville to make your plans weatherproof. Ugh, wake up. Walk the dog. Get the kids off to school. Shower. Ooh, what to wear? What's the weather? We've got rain heading towards the mid-state today. What would I do without Cody? Do I take 40 or 24 today? Southbound traffic is starting to back up. Thanks, Lindsay. What happened last night and what's going on today? We are on the way to breaking news right now. Now I'm ready to start the day. Good morning. Thanks for waking up with us. Gotta love Holly. A great day starts with News for Today. Working for you every morning. The time to refresh your home is now. It's the BF Myers Furniture New Year's Sale. We have a huge amount of furniture in stock and ready for free delivery. It's the BF Myers Furniture New Year's Sale. Going on now. Behind City Hall in Galitzville. You're watching News 4 Nashville. Working for you. Overnight in Nashville, two people died in two separate car crashes. One killed 17-year-old Jack Cloffer. Police say he was driving on Old Hickory Boulevard near Cane Ridge Road when he lost control of his car on the wet roads. His car left the road, hit a tree, and caught on fire. Another teen was in the car and will be okay. This man will face aggravated vehicular homicide charges for a wrong way crash that killed a man early this morning. Police say Kelvin Mejia Romero was driving on the wrong side of I-24 West near Licton Pike when he crashed into Samuel Dismuke Sr. Dismuke died. Mejia Romero is in the hospital right now, but will face those charges once he's out. Police say he admitted to drinking before driving. He does have two prior DUI convictions. We'll be right back. I don't consider myself news junkie, but I do rely on news coverage every day. I need to stay connected and understand what the heck is going on. None of us ever predicted what today would look like. And right now, I rely on local news coverage on News 4 Nashville more than ever. I need to know what happens to me and my family here in Nashville when big things happen in the world. I need to understand how those things ripple down and impact my life. News 4 Nashville listens to me and helps me stay connected every day. What are you working on? I'm making a to-do list. It's a busy time of the year and I have a lot to do. So you're writing out a list? Yeah, I don't want to miss anything. Is selling a house on your to-do list? Call Tennessee Home Buyers and get a free, no obligation cash offer. We're locally owned, family operated, and A-plus members of the BBB. Sell house, check. Sell your house the easy way. Call 299 cash today. I don't care about any award show. I haven't seen my Cleo in a week. It's the industry's highest honor. That does it. Our queen. My beautiful queen. Caesar, what are you doing? A romantic evening of tacos and chill. Here's oh. your acceptance speech. Oh. Do not improvise. Oh, oh. Ladies and gentlemen, we are all Caesar's pause for ovation. Not that part. When I was but a young Caesar. Didn't I say don't improvise? When news breaks, you have questions, and News 4 Today connects you to the answer. And we're following this breaking news. Police have blocked off Gallatin Pike as this investigation continues this morning. With a team of reporters gathering the details that matter to you. Our crew is breaking new information in Davidson County this morning. Connecting the news from on the scene to how it changes your day. Connecting you to what matters most. News 4 Today, weekday mornings from 4 to 7, working for you. Working for you means making a difference for families in Waverly. News 4 uncovered by some nonprofits are holding onto millions of dollars flood victims could use now. The tow truck driver said to me, you would have been killed in this vehicle. Call for action exposed to potential rental car concern. Some say is putting you in danger on the road. Also, News 4 showed parents a new medical service. We could provide that service and make it affordable. How can News 4 work for you? Tell us at WSMV.com. You're watching News 4 Nashville. We've had a long day with severe weather, so to stay safe, have the free News 4 app downloaded to your phone. You can receive alerts about the weather right as it happens. We're back at 10 o'clock. Take care, everybody. Thanks for watching News 4 Nashville. Watch us live wherever you are, on our mobile, on our streaming news app. And you can also watch us on Roku, Apple TV, and Fire TV.
Ashley Home Store's New Year's mattress sale is going on now. Save $400 off select Stearns and Foster mattresses or get 0% interest financing for six years. Plus, get up to $300 Ashley cash on qualifying mattress purchases only at Ashley Home Store. Thank you, honey. News for Nashville starts now with this forewarn weather alert. Well, welcome back, everyone. We are cutting back into regular programming here because of a tornado warning that's going to be issued for the southern portions, I believe, of Lincoln and Franklin counties, Dan, as some of those areas that we were actually watching for the last hour or so where that cluster of thunderstorms has been firing up. So here we go. Tornado warning has been issued. We're just waiting for it to actually show up on our radar system, which should take just about another couple of seconds here. But let's go into the area. There it is, Dan, all the way down in the southern portions of those counties. Yeah, and you can see, Stefano, very clearly. Look at that hook. A very well-defined hook. This may be the best looking, and I say best, I don't mean best like it's a good thing. I mean most well-defined from a scientific uh, standpoint. This may be the most well-defined hook we have had all day. And developed it, very quickly as well. Yeah, and so we don't want to see this, but it's, it's moving toward Huntland. Let's put that in motion and show folks that it looks like it's probably rolling right toward Huntland. You've got to be in your safe spot. Huntland, this thing got wrapped up pretty quickly. Tornado warning in effect until, what is that in effect until? About 7 o'clock? Yeah, right around, right around 7 o'clock. And we probably only have about maybe 10 miles, and maybe that means 8 to 10 minutes in Huntland for this thing to move on in. And then it rolls across the rest of the southern half of Franklin County. So right now it's southeastern Lincoln into southern portions of Franklin County. Could be a tornado out there. It looks like there's pretty good velocities here, pretty good wind speed away from the radar. So, and again, when I say pretty good, I mean a well-defined. So we've got some very strong winds away from the radar there in the strongest inbound winds we've seen with any storm all day today. Collectively, we're probably up around over 100. So the picture just changed, but briefly there, it was about 150 miles an hour of rotation. And this thing is coming off the Huntsville radar, so we're probably scanning it about 1,500 feet above the ground. It's very close to the radar, and so this is very true to what we're seeing here. Again, about a third of a mile above ground level. So watch out, Huntland. You've got to be in your safe spot. Hopefully, you have a basement, bathroom, closet, 